Hey guys, today I want to walk you through the famous cat cow. So the cat cow is probably the most famous spinal stretch that's out there, both because it will expose you to maximum flexion and maximum extension. The reason why it's such a great stretch is because of the extension portion. Obviously this is the complete opposite of the forward, po forward head posture and computer posture that we're stuck in all day long. The reason why this video I find so important is that the cat cow is poorly done most of the time. And I'm talking not everyone, but sometimes even yoga instructors, I know this because I treat some myself, um, some of the details that are lacking in the ext extension portion are crucial if you're gonna get the full benefits of the stretch. Um, so if you're interested in either progressing or bettering your own cat cow stretch or learning it all together, stick around and I'll walk you guys through it. So from a very basic analogy, the cat portion or the angry cat portion of the cat cow, you want to be creating a top half of the circle, meaning your head would be down, your bum would be down, and your spine will be rounded upwards. And you hold that for five seconds. After that five seconds, you actually reverse it, where you're going to try and arc your back where your head's now up, your bum's up, and your back or your belly button is reaching towards the ground. So. You're gonna start on your hands and knees, nice and square. You shouldn't be shifting forward, backwards, or forwards throughout. And your arms should be completely straight. That's a common mistake, is when people arc their back, they tend to start bending their elbows. So position one, the angry cat, your head goes down, and your bum goes down, if you notice that, and my spine goes up. And you hold that for five seconds. After the five seconds is done, again, no shifting forward or back, no bending of the elbows. And now your head's going to go up, and this is the opposite of that forward head posture or that computer posture, and your bum goes up. Now I left out the most important detail, I'm going to come back to it. Five seconds that way, back to the angry cat for five seconds. Now I want you to pay attention to the last detail. I got to here, most people stop right here, where you get all the benefits of this stretch is allowing your chest to drop towards the floor and you'll notice my shoulder blades touched in the middle and then you close it up with your head up. Now I feel a ton of stuff right between my shoulder blades. So I'll do that one more time. You don't stop right here. This is where it's gonna require a little bit of brain power. You let your shoulder blades drop towards the middle by dropping your chest towards the floor, keeping your shoulders down. You don't hike them up, you keep them down. Whenever you get to there, you close it up. Remember, my bum is up, my head is up, my chest is down, and you hold that for five. So you end up going up and down, 10 reps, five seconds per direction, and you try and do that after a long computer work day, and you're gonna feel lots going on in your spine, but not without this last portion. So 10 reps after a long work day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your gentle reminder that if you haven't done your stretches yet today, right now is a perfect time and you might as well do it while watching one of these two videos. If you have any questions with any of the content you just watched, comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys and thanks for watching.